You know, I actually run this, uh, like, I'm using it right now for my VTubing. Mm -hmm. I run all of this on a, an old, uh, like, 10-year-old laptop with an NVIDIA card and Nuvo. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what you were running. Yeah, like, my streaming PC is, like, an old laptop with the, with an NVIDIA, and it's one of the, the, the last generations that actually work well with Nuvo that don't have the, uh, the firmware issue. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it works, right? <laughs> a 10-year-old, where would that put the card? What generation? Uh, Maxwell? Uh, it is, uh, I think it's Maxwell, yeah. <laughs> Gee, well, look, it's functioning. People have, people have successfully run Inot Shetty on a Pentium 4 T6 650. And it still runs 60 this, FPS. This is a GTX 660M. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any, uh, like, you know, any functional reason, like anything that's major missing from Inuch 2D that would make it so it's much lighter is just the fact that Live 2D is just written terribly. Uh, Live 2D is just written terribly. <laughs> sure, right, fair enough. I, I, uh, may, look, maybe like, you're a biased source to ask that question too, but... I mean, we do a lot of things correctly that Live 2D does wrong, like mm -hmm. they do color blending wrong, so like people have issues with like weird outlines on their parts, and they also have issues where they only have two blending modes, so they can only do normal and multiply. We support more blending modes because we handle color correctly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've had to help someone, uh, well, just like on the surface, so I didn't actually write any life to D code. So, but yeah, I had to help them a bit with like an issue with it, and I just got a glimpse of how cursed it is to set up like actually rendering a live 2D model. Mm -hmm. It is not pretty. Uh, so I can understand why it runs terribly. It's it's not very well written, and mm -hmm. yeah. Well, before live 2D, there wasn't anything in that space. Like, I remember when live 2D like was first being demoed. At, I think it was some games conference in Japan, like. I don't even know how many years ago. This was way before VTubing was even a thing. I think it was being demoed Except... for like some visual novel stuff or whatever. But yeah, it was but the only thing that was doing that existed it. Something before. No, there was something doing it before called Emote Engine, which was made by the people who make Nic Nicopara, which also has right. an animation subsystem. Yep. And yeah, so it has actually existed before Live 2D, but Live 2D kind of cut the, got the limelight by not yeah, being yeah. tied to a specific engine. Uh, the same with Notch 2D, it's just a specification, so anyone can implement it. Someone is working on a uh, Godot version, mm -hmm. and I'll probably work on a uh, Unity and maybe a web version, because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I personally called making something called Kaleido mm -hmm. Kit. Um, well, uh, I I might be working with them to like have a Notch 2D version of their oh, like, wait, online I, the, I, thing. I know what that is, yeah, okay. I got for a second, but no. Um, one second. Um, yeah, sorry, just talk about that for just a moment. Uh... <laughs> uh, I can't wait. What do you know what the website for it is? Lido face. Uh, I don't. Uh, you can just Google. Yeah, if I, I, I don't know the. Um. Yeah. No. That's. I, I think I talked about this. Like I don't know. Maybe it. I don't know when it first came out. No, this is a really cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm. Uh, well, I'm. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually in talks with both most of the people within VTubing and also Nvidia, so. Uh, they actually, Nvidia actually sent me a, a graphics card because uh, they wanted the, they have something called Maxine AR for like face tracking, mm -hmm. and they wanted that to work within our 3D, so they sent me a RTX 3070 Ti wow. for free, so yay. Wow, I don't, I don't really have cool. to pay for that. So I, I have to go look at that at some point. I have started looking at their API. Uh, I, it's just... It's gonna be it's it's different from all the other stuff because they are just applications that then send data over a socket. Here I need to actually start Maxine AR from Face Track D and then like pipe the data in somehow. So I it's slightly did, different. I had no idea that you had uh, you're getting that far along with the project. I I thought it was still some like really small thing that only a few people were using. I mean, there's only well, there's me, Lena, and uh, Seagetch, which, uh, which is one of our Japanese users. There's also a bunch of people on our Discord that are like experimenting with it, but yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't say it's like ready for the average VTuber to yeah, use yeah. yet. Sure, but like you're getting uh, you know attention from from companies that are like involved in some way in this space. Uh, yeah, I mean, at, at he showed you at even some point. Yeah, he showed you even at some point where like offering to look into maybe sponsoring the project, but they oh, wow. kind of dropped that. So That, that would have been massive cool. if that happened. Yeah. 
but it didn't. But I'm I'm still it's still pretty cool that even considered it. Yeah, yeah. So well, if they considered it, then you know it's always possibility that them or someone else will come along down the lines, and when it's in a you know much better state, not a minimum viable product, at at a stage where someone who's not a super technical user could actually productively make use of it, then at that point maybe something else will happen. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, by the next, um, oh. you know, yeah, I think sometimes always like uh, you know, I'm very modest and uh, and thinking, you know, it's, it's not going to be like a huge project, but um, it's actually a kind of pretty big deal. I mean, it's it's not just uh, open source, but it's also very uh, friendly to game engines because it's uh, permissively licensed. Um, and it, you know, being lightweight is very important for games and also for um VTuber collaborations. If you have uh, if you actually want to render locally and not use weird uh, you know, cover uh. Like uh, green screen tricks, which always is, you know, not great. Um, and so there's actually a lot of, uh, of reasons uh, to use it, but everyone's always like, oh, you know, maybe someday. It's, like, ah. <laughs> it's gotta get there, you know. It, it's still the early uh, stages, but it's it's come definitely a long way. That's for sure. You, you should look up the, uh, the the editing tool. Like, I mean, I know it's missing a lot of features, and it has, you know, like um the the broken undo and stuff like that. But I mean, just seeing that. Like, it's a proper UI, right? Like, mm-hmm. you can actually just drag in a PSD and start moving notes around and, you know, and adding parameters. And, like, okay, it's quirky, but it's not, you know, like, I am typing in numbers into a JSON file. Like, yeah, it yeah. is a proper editor. I'm going to try to see if I can find... I have some videos of when, like, I first worked on the specification. And it just... It's come a long way since then, so give me a moment. <laughs> I need to look into my, like, backups and stuff. Yeah, yeah if you can find anything... Uh... Um... Oh wait, I think it's on my Linux drive. I'll have to like. But no, that, that's I did just that. Oh, yes. Or I. Sorry. <laughs> I, saying, I did do two streams where I was rigging my uh, decorating the physics thingy and rigging my hair. So I do have a couple examples of uh, of how that works on my channel too. If you, if anyone's interested. Awesome. Um, if you yeah. can find them, I will maybe put them in the description if I don't forget. But <laughs> I'm I'm very bad at remembering to do things. <laughs> I cannot find those videos because they are on my Linux drive, and I do not have a thing to read Linux files for my Windows thing right now. Uh, okay. I'm on Windows 10 right now because I also need to make sure this thing runs on Windows for the yeah, Windows yeah. users that are using it. So, yeah, well, you don't. You, if you're going to be building something like this, you don't just want it to be, you know, a Linux exclusive thing. Yeah, we we make sure it runs on Linux, Mac, and <laughs> Windows. So yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how is the um <laughs> <coughs> yeah uh, how is the state of it coming along on like on the different operating systems is it in a better state on linux or on windows or how's that going uh you're gonna get better performance on linux than on mm-hmm. windows but otherwise they're pretty much on par so that's good i think the main i think the main issue right now is the uh deployment on mac is uh, like uh there's no ci and the there's a big issue with the debindings uh, um, and the building of uh, libstl and some stuff, um, especially CMD on Mac. So like, there's a there's a build. Um, the build sucks basically. Um, but you know, once it's built, it works. So like, if, if we fix the build scripts, then it can be the you know. Oh, the build script has been fixed. So yeah, uh, Playmer. Yeah, Playmer pushed uh, fixes oh, okay. for the build scripts. So they actually they actually work now. Because uh, when I when I to try like i was trying on the m1s on mac OS to see how it worked and like okay that that i had to do some really really cursed stuff <laughs> to get it to build and then it was crashing and then i realized it was it had to do with with the png or writing the apples in png yeah no it, that, that was not great <laughs> and like nothing to do with the app right it was all about the dependencies and the libraries and everything <laughs> so yeah what right now would you consider to be like the, I guess, the major, the major blocker that you have for Energy 2D? Like, what, what is the biggest challenge you're trying to overcome with it? Uh, the fact that I don't have, uh, well, m- that much time to work on it because yeah, uh, I, well, I have a lot of like, uh, real life stuff happening, and also, uh, I also need money. To like survive and stuff, so I also have to do my yeah, day job. That's very important. I do have a Patreon, but like uh, right now, it's not enough to like support me working mm-hmm. on full time. But hopefully, one day it'll be enough, and then I Just can actually. Subscribe to the Patreon. Do it, everyone. 
Yeah, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So if you want to go okay. and uh, support the project, uh, absolutely go and do so. Okay. But yeah, that, that's the main plug. Okay, I actually did find a video of like when I was working on like a deformation test. Oh, yeah. For like very, very early. And I didn't even have like a model yet. So I just had a, I just used a picture I had around. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's very early days. Like, when was oh, this video? 2020 10 09. Um, let me see. What can I do here? I can download this. Yes, this is how we can do this. Uh, I can download this. I can open it in my browser because I don't want to go and mess around with anything else. Yeah, that should work. Uh, but like feature wise, what is there anything feature wise that's sort of acting as a blocker right now? Uh, it would mostly just be editor features like. Mm -hmm. Uh, specification features, there's like, uh, I guess the, I'm working on like a post-processing pipeline. I'm working on a particle system node, an art animated part node, and then we want like a bone node so like you can have like skeleton animation as well. Yep. Uh, with both uh, forward and inverse kinematics. And that's basically the only blockers in the spec that are for 1.0. So it's, it's most just the tooling. Like I mean, it works, right? Like, I'm using it. There's yeah, yeah. The actual spec is, you know, there's there's things that Luna wants to add, but there's not really any blockers, blockers mm. there um, for people actually using it. It's it's really about the tooling, the uh, um, both making the editor, you know, that's, that's terrible for people who, who don't know exactly how it works. Mm -hmm. um, and also it needs, uh, like, non-destructive deformations and, uh, like, mesh deformations and things like that. Um, but uh, And then on the user side, it's really session, right? Because, like, right now... Um, we can make a model for someone, we can make a model for someone, mm -hmm. but like, you literally need to edit source code to, uh, to change it. Said... Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So. Well, I am working on session, so. I did yeah, see yeah. you meant, oh, sorry. I think once session works, um, we can, we can, uh, uh, you know, start having quite a few people, um, try things. Oh, and also we're getting those test balls from Seagate, right? So anyone yeah. can use those and, uh, and mess around with them, so. There. Well, this is because we don't they're, have they're... open um, test models yet. Yep, yep. Yeah. They're going to be creative, like, uh, creative commons licensed as well. So let, let's see what kind of curse shit people make with them. But 